For today's video, I'm figuring out how to mount the seats onto the seat platform. The idea I wanna use is something that I actually saw on TikTok the other day for uh, hanging pictures, but I think it might work for this. I have the seats where I want them to sit. The only problem I have is that I have no way of seeing where exactly I need to drill out to run my bolts from under the seats to attach to the seat bases. The seats have four mounting holes, which is where I need to run the bolts through from under the platform into the bench seat. I've been coming up with different ideas on how I wanted to do this. One of my first ideas was painting the tops of each screw with like some permanent marker or a little bit of paint and then just placing the seat down where I want it. But I saw something on TikTok the other day and I wanted to give it a try to see if it might work for this. All right, so here's the idea. Essentially, you take some masking tape and you tape over the holes. If this works, I'm gonna be floored. <laughs> So now we have some masking tape. What I'm gonna do is take the screws and I'm gonna puncture right where they're gonna sit into the seat. All right, and I'm just gonna screw these down. All right, now the idea is that I'm trying to get the screws to make a nice clear hole um, into the tape. So now that I've screwed it down enough to do that, I'm gonna take the screws out, and if I carefully remove the tape, I should have the exact mounting holes and their positioning that I'm attempting to drill out. That actually worked. One thing I wanted to do was just make this a little bit cleaner. So when I put the screws in, it doesn't pull the tape in any direction. And when I pull this off, <clears throat> it doesn't curl the tape. So what I did was I rolled over the sides of the tape just to make everything easier to come off. I think it's gonna work just a little bit better. There we go. Now we have a nice clean seat mount <clears throat> that I can set up on the seat platform to get this installed. Hmm. All right, so I have two inches from the back wall to the corner back of the seat. That's gonna be my main measurement for front to back. I'm gonna match that up basically on all the seats here. That puts this really nice and flush with the front of the seat platform. So that would be seven inches off the wall. We need to have our back row of holes. So we need seven inches in to start. So essentially right there. Okay, now we gotta make sure this is square with the wall. I'm gonna take my square, put it up against the wall. That's um, right down both of the holes in the center. So, I mean, I don't think there's much I need to change there. So for this seat, this is where we're gonna mount it. I'm gonna go ahead and get my holes drilled out. Then I'm gonna pop this front cover off and hopefully I'll be able to access the uh, bolts from the underside and get this mounted in and see if everything lines up. Okay, well, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this front cover off here and see if we can get access to the underside. One thing I'm doing before I install these bolts is apply a little bit of anti-seize to them. That's the way, just in case I need to take these out, these will just come in and out a lot easier. Oh yeah, that's pretty much perfect. With that mounted, I think that came out pretty good. It is really, really solid. Uh, the, the template worked great. All four holes uh, match right up with the bolt holes into the seat, so all that worked really good. The only thing I could have done was maybe move this over maybe a quarter of an inch. You can see the difference between my mark and the side of the seat. I was hoping for a little bit more side room here, but honestly, where it sits, I'm really happy with. It's not, it's not like it's a big deal at all. All right, with the first seat mounted, I was really happy with most of my measurements. From the back of the platform forward was a great measurement at seven inches. For this one, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful to make sure I get this in enough because it really needs to sit centered on the steering wheel, right on that corner. Yep. Good, perfect. All right, so my, my lovely assistant marked off the back corner hole to get started. I'm gonna go ahead and line this up with her mark. Okay, 
Okay. So now that we're done with this template, we can take this to the side. We gotta get this we're cleaned done up. Done with it forever. Done with it forever. I was the only two pieces that needed it. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and got the last four bolts into the driver's seat. All right, so I have the holes drilled out and some bolt placeholders in place. I have my uh, mounting bolts ready to go with washers on them. I'm gonna do the same thing with some uh, anti-seize on the bolts just to make sure nothing rusts out if I need to remove this stuff. And pretty much the same process. Let's hope this all lines up the way we're hoping for. Okay, the driver's seat is now installed. As you can see, it lines up perfectly right here with the steering wheel. I'm super happy with that. The overhang is even on both seats, so we're lining up everything really, really well. That template worked out amazing. Big shout out to TikTok for that one. Who knew? Who knew? Okay, so as I said, the center seat's gonna be really easy. It's just two screws onto the plate. Um, so this is gonna have to screw down like this okay so the hinge is basically flush with the front of the bench seat so that does make that a little bit easier absolutely perfect nice and centered boom love it now that is what i'm talking about Hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and we'll see how everything looks. All right, guys, well, there they are. <clears throat> All three seats have been installed. I am so happy with how this came out. They are rock solid on the platform. We match up with the steering wheel over here. We're nice and centered on our jump seat. Plenty of room for all three passengers. Something I'm gonna be doing really soon since this center jump seat comes up and lifts up like that is installing some hidden storage in there. I think that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be super easy to do. Look for that in the video soon. All right, guys, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna see more content like this and see how this John boat turns out, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any ideas or recommendations on what I can do better for the boat, please drop a comment below. I'm always looking for new ideas. Thanks for watching.